Hi everyone, welcome on to this TechNet video having a look at Google Sites and all the things you can do with it. So with Google Sites is a really nice and easy way to create your own website, so whether it's for your coursework, for A-level media, or if you want to make your own portfolio to demonstrate some of your work, you can do both with it. So on the screen in front of me, we have the kind of generic Google Sites screen. Now we recommend making your Google Site in your uh, Google NEA folder, in your in your own Google Drive, because then that means you can share it with your next year's teacher if you're building that. If you make yourself a portfolio, obviously you can make it wherever the hell you like. Um, but if you're doing A-level media, make sure you save it into a Google Drive folder that you can then share with your teacher next year. So the main thing to remember here is you need to create a blank Google site. So I'm just going to click on the word blank here. And what this will do is this will now create me my own Google site to work with. Hurrah. And as you can see, you're greeted with this joyous generic page. So first thing to remember is obviously you need more than one page. So if we click over here on pages, we can click this little plus button down here to add a brand new page. So I'm just going to call this one about, press enter, and now I have two linked pages one called home one called about i'm just going to change the name of this just so it says home so you know which page we're on so that's the first thing now you can notice up here it automatically creates links for you which is great and you can flick between the two pages here so you can obviously edit them independently nice and straightforward now this top image up here this is like your header so it's the first thing your users are going to see when they log in so there's different types so you can have a big cover image so if you think like the technet page uh, that's got a giant header image that you uh, that you first see when you log in so that's the well, that's what they call a cover image you've also got a large banner so it's quite a large picture a regular banner and then just title only generally you'll probably be wanting to work in one of these three and you can create your own custom images within photoshop or in illustrator or whatever it is you're making making it in and then uh, you can bring that image into google drive upload it and then obviously share it onto your google site that's one thing i would recommend is you when you make any assets to go onto your google sites page you save it all as jpegs and then upload it to google drive and then what google sites does is it will ask you it will look for where an image is to find it from so let's say you want to actually add something in so with text i can just click on text box here and I can add as much text as I like in this box. And you can see here with these little dots, you can obviously shrink your text box to whatever size you like. Generally, Google Sites likes to work within like halves and thirds and quarters. Uh, so you can obviously you can shrink down boxes. Uh, so for instance, if I uh, sort of duplicate, you can move this around. So as you can see, it wants to put it into thirds, wants to put it into thirds with one thing very small in the middle, uh, wants to keep it on the end. You can put it wherever the, wherever on earth you like. So let's just kind of put it in the middle there. Then when you highlight the text, you can then do stuff to it. So first port of call is obviously you can change the font. So if you click on here, you've got an initial list of fonts here. So you can obviously like having whichever thing you like. That looks horrible. But you can click on more fonts at the top and basically go trawling through the very large variety of Google fonts. As you can see, I'm scrolling and scrolling and scrolling forever. Uh, so you can pick literally anything you like. So I'm just going to pick this thing called Bubblegum Sands because why the hell not? You can click OK and then it'll add that in there for you nice and easy. That looks horrible. Please don't use this font. Then you can click on your font size up here and obviously you can change it to whatever size you like. So I'm just going to pick 60. As you can see, it sits within the bounds of that box and doesn't go out. So it will go up and down. You can make obviously bold, italic, underline it. Uh, you can obviously change the font color. So let's pick a nice bright red. Why not? Uh, you can change the alignment. So you obviously you can center it. You can justify it if you like. Obviously with this small amount of text, it's not going to work particularly well, but we'll just keep it centered. And you can also make it a hyperlink. So you can link it to your other page. So instead of clicking on the about button up here, you can click on one of these buttons. So let's just say it's the word add, make it a link. And as you can see down here, it's like, hey, link it to the about page and you can click apply. And now when I click on the word add, it will take me to the about page. So we can demonstrate that by clicking on the preview button over here. And you can obviously see what your page looks like. So I can click on the word add. And as you can see, you jump straight to the about page. Really nice and straightforward. And to get back, I can just click on home. And there I am, nice and easy. You can see what your page looks like on different devices as well. So this by default is a large screen, so a computer. Uh, you've got a sideways phone or a tablet and then a vertical phone. So you can see how big everything looks within it. What it will do is if you've got three things in a line, it will just line them up vertically for you. Then we can click close and we can go back to our regular view. 
So that's the first thing we can add in. So we'll shuffle them over there. You can also add in images, of course. So you click on images. You can upload them straight from your computer if you like, but it's much easier to just click select and then you go to a dry folder uh, and then you can pick everything out. Now, last time I used an album covers one. There we go. Uh, so this is a quiz I did many moons ago. Good old lockdown. And you can move it between blocks. So by default, Google Sites will try and add it into a brand new row, which is this kind of block here. But you can move it between rows like so. So and then you can obviously make it bigger like that. Now, as you can see, we're currently cutting off the uh, Gorillaz album cover over here. Obviously, American Idiot over here. So we've got Uncrop, which will basically shrink the picture to fit the size you've got. And you can also use Crop so you can zoom the picture in. So let's say I just want to have The Clash is a fantastic album cover there. We can obviously shuffle it around. You can sort of see the little bounding box it's going to sit within. So I can click on that, click the little tick button, and I get a very large album cover uh, of The Clash's Combat Rock there. Um, great album, would recommend. But yes, yeah, so there you go. So you can crop and manipulate images quite easily. The other thing you can do is change the colour of what's in the background. So at the moment, obviously, it's set to white. So if we click over here to Section Colours, by default, it will give you white. You can also pick a kind of grey and you can also pick a style. Now, for this particular preset of simple, the style is blue. Now, we can change that quite easily by going over to themes over here, click on this little paint bucket and changing it to any color we want. So I'm gonna change it to a god awful green. And as you can see, it changes that entire background to green. It will change the kind of default picture of the back to a color palette that matches, because obviously it's trying to match it up. But don't worry about this big white block here. This will not show. This will be the bottom of your page down here. We can show you that by going back to preview clicking on the large screen one as you can see the bottom of the page is that big green line of course a beautiful piece of design you could say at the bottom you might have noticed you can also add a footer uh, so that's obviously adding small text for like copyright information terms and conditions uh, you know addresses emails contacts twitter icons instagram icons all that kind of jazz you can all add in the box down there and of course you can customize it in the exact same way so it all blends in all quite nicely now the other things you can do with insert is there are other options you can play around with which uh, enable you to basically do little kind of layout things so we've got uh, a big item with some text two items and some text three items three items three text small four etc so if i just click on the big one here and this adds in three things now these things independently i can edit and change so if i don't want this top one i can get rid of it uh, or if i don't want the bottom one i can get rid of it uh, and it kind of just merges in like that so i can have two like long one long thin and one big thing so i can click on the plus button i can add anything i like to it so i can select an image uh, add something from google drive so it could be a pdf of a magazine could be a uh, sort of like a mosaic you've created could be a collage could be a video could be anything you like so and for some reason you can also add calendar and map don't know why but you can so you could pick youtube for instance as a youtube video uh, we'd recommend putting stuff into google drive uh, for obviously your interview videos uh, for the a-level media students among you because uh, remember don't upload your coursework to youtube before you've got your official marks next year or whenever your course ends and you get your results in august um, so make sure you do it then so for instance we could pick the classic Oh, well, the classic, but now very modern, uh, Running Up the Hill uh, by Kate Bush. So we can put that in, and the video will just sit there nice and happy. Excellent. Um, so you can put in videos like that, and when you click on Preview, you'll see that obviously the large YouTube video comes up just there. Now we've got a big grey box here for obviously something to go in later. And you can click on Play, and it will then just play out, which is great. Now, the other things you can do, there are quite a lot of extra options and things you can add. Probably the most popular one is probably going to be your image carousel. So what that does is that shows image after image after image after image and just cycles through a selection of images. Easiest way to do that is you upload three, three, four, five, I'd probably say is a good number for a carousel, images of all the same size, and then they can all just sit in your Google Drive folder and the carousel can link to it. Really nice and straightforward. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Uh, one thing to remember is when you publish your web page, so if I want to pu uh, publish this abomination, uh, make sure you call it whatever it is and your name in your web address. And then when you click on manage, make sure that you set the link here to 
public because what that means is that all your teachers can see it and if it gets called for moderation external moderators can see it too and there'll be no problems and no queries with anything i'm not going to publish this abomination because it is an abomination uh, it's probably hmm, questionable design choices let's put it that way but yours of course will be significantly better one thing to remember on the design front is make sure that all of your products link with sort of color schemes font schemes make sure you're using the same fonts between all of your things whether it's a magazine you're making music video uh, or the film brief and you got the dvd or blu-ray cover going along make sure all the color palettes match make sure all the fonts match because that'll make everything look like it's cohesive it'll make your campaign actually feel like a campaign so for instance with this if this is the sort of background color of your dvd make sure you use that on your dvd cover if your magazine is white make sure your website matches that with that kind of same white background color color because that will make it feel really in keeping and it will work really well otherwise last final thing is you can just add anything you like from drive so if you've got pdf versions of your magazine for instance or a jpeg or a pdf of your uh, dvd or blu-ray cover you can simply add that in with just the google drive link and you can add any file you like as long as google drive can read it google sites can read it too and that's pretty much it for Google Sites. Uh, hopefully this uh, tutorial has been quite helpful for you. If you are getting stuck with anything, feel free to come and chat to us. Or you can also use this website here called Steagle. Uh, it's a website I've used before in the past to put things together and to actually help me uh, with any problems and queries I've had. Uh, so I'll put a link down in the description below so you can also use all their resources as well for you. Otherwise, uh, this has been another TechNet video looking at Google Sites. I've been James. Thank you very much for listening and watching along. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the videos and the channels because it makes us look better and more popular and means we may one day get money. Who knows? Probably not, but you never know. Uh, and also make sure you drop us a follow on Instagram and Twitter as well. Uh, and of course, any questions or queries, come and pop into the edit suite and see us or email technet at farmer.ac.uk. Otherwise, see you later.